Welcome back as we discuss mechanical checks that should be performed on a motor after it has been repaired or simply checked for integrity. We begin with the bearing test. To check the bearings, rotate the motor shaft by hand and listen carefully for any abnormal noises which may indicate worn bearing surfaces. Then, test the shaft for lateral play by moving it from side to side or in and out. There should be no appreciable movement if the bearing is in good order. Next, perform a visual inspection of the shaft and keyway. Check the condition of the keyway for excessive wear or damage. Using a dial gauge indicator, check the condition of the shaft to ensure that it is not bent. There should be no deflection beyond approximately 0,02 mm under normal circumstances. Next, examine the stator frame, end shields and grease housings if fitted. Check these parts for cracks, breaks or missing through bolts or fixings. Check the condition of the fan blades for cracks or broken blades. Look carefully for cracks and broken or missing parts on the terminal box. Check that the motor nameplate is firmly secured to the stator frame and that the information is legible. Remember to record the results of each examination or test. Any faults or defects must be noted on the checklist. After the break, we will discuss the slip ring motor. <laughs>